it's Nienke Bloom here and um, I'm here with something new. It's my first video of 2022 and I'm kicking off a series of a monthly book review. The book review um, of a book that I read that inspired me could be a CX book, could be a leadership book, something else and I'm translating that to something that you can work with. These little snack size things that you can work with. So the first one I'm kicking it off uh, with a book from my dear CX and well thought leader in CX speaker futurist Stephen van Belgem. Stephen van Belgem if you want to pronounce it in a more English way it's this book. It is and I have it here in front of me but you see it in a mirror size it's the CX leader manual to customer excellence and I think it's a, an interesting book. We're talking about snack size. This is also a snack size book. He's got these, these little nuggets of information, these fun things. Uh, and he has um, altered the book in two sections. First of all, it's the brilliant basics, part one. And part two is fantastic lessons from 10 top CX leaders. Well, he caught me a little bit off guard when I saw the book because it reads um, uh, uh, the CX Leaders Manual to Customer Excellence, Brilliant Basics and Luminous Lessons from 10 Top CX Leaders. And for me, a CX leader is a person. But looking at it from the perspective of uh, Stephen, he has top 10 CX customer experience leaders as companies. So uh, yes, there are people in there, but I think it's great to read. Uh, you get this inspiration and Stephen always writes uh, as it it's, it just comes to you, it, it makes it vivid. So a compliment for him, but also good for you to get it. And um, looking at it, I have three insights I got out of it that I wanna well, share with you and you can do your, uh, uh, you have your benefits from it. The first one, what he does, he compares um, the seven habits of Covey to CX leadership. And what I like is begin with the end in mind. It's the beginning of the year. It's 2022. It's January. Uh, he describes it more from begin with the end in mind, uh, begin with the customer experience and work backwards um, in Apple. Uh, but I think here, this is more, I like to see it from the perspective, begin with the end in mind. What do you want to have accomplished at the end of 2022? Both from a leadership perspective as in CX results. I think it would be great if you can make that very smart um, and then work backwards. Yes, do that. It is so important. And see where in that journey do you maybe need some help? Do you need education? Do you need inspiration? Do you need budget? I don't know, but define that for yourself. Of course, if you need any education, you know where to go. My second insight is from the CX leaders and uh, I'm a fan of Disney as is Steven. And uh, one of the, the lessons that he shares is from uh, Duncan Wardle. Uh, he used to be the head of innovation at uh, Disney. And what I like is what he says is go live with your customer. And what does he mean with that? Go be where your customer is. And yes, we know that once you're in a company, we know that it's very difficult to step in the shoes of your customer to go outside in. It's this terminology that we use, but it's often words. It is up to us as CX leaders to go out there and lead the way, that's one, to make sure that others see that it's not too difficult, so we have to go out there. Um, don't forget, once you're out there with customers, that you talk about it, do the walk and the talk. But also, get others to go out and live with the customer. Make sure that leaders are connected with customers, that interact with customers and share customer stories. It is our roles. And the third insight I got, and this one is maybe a little bit more difficult, but I work a lot with uh, companies that are in commodity, whether it's bank, insurance, uh, maybe even government, um, but it's and, and maybe more for the commercial side, but I think it's still imp important. And he talks about the leadership lessons from Starbucks, um, reinvent the commodity. And at the time that Starbucks started, they started with people were just buying beans and they created this huge chain, um, 30,000, uh, um, 33,000 cafes globally, it's incredible. And people pay amounts of money for a cup of coffee that we cannot think about, something that if you do it rationally, we would not do that, but we do as people. And this is something that, especially when you read this little part of the book, lots of products and services are just downright boring. They're not interesting. What can you do to add, to spice that up, to spice customer experience up? Reinvent your commodity. Um, if it's boring, make it interesting again. 
So these are my three insights from this book. Begin with the end in mind. What do you want to have accomplished at the end of 2022? Two, go live with your customer as Disney inspires you to do. And three, reinvent the commodity. This was my first book review and I am curious uh, if you read the book too or if you're gonna read the book please share your insight in the comments and no the good thing is in the show notes the PDF link of this book is there go download it I like those books to be here and I work with post-its to, to grow my notes I also like it this book because you can use these examples in your CX storytelling they give you the credibility as a leader go read it and I'll see you back next month.